Hey guys, it's Max from Apple Insider. Apple yesterday surprised everybody when they refreshed the MacBook Pros with the 2018 Touch Bar model that now includes a quad-core processor. We did a hands-on first look looking at all the new features. We tested out the CPU performance and it is shocking. But I'm gonna leave that for another video that you guys can check out by clicking the little box at the end of this one. But for this one, we're talking about another surprise that came at the same time and that is this guy right here. This is Blackmagic's external GPU and they created this along working alongside with Apple. And there's one really, really cool thing that I'm super excited about. I'll talk about in just a bit, but let's go ahead and open this guy up. So this thing comes in at $699 and it has a built-in AMD RX 580 graphics card with eight gigabytes of memory. Now, just like other external GPUs, it connects to your machine with a Thunderbolt 3 cable and then along with passing through data, uh, it can also power your uh, MacBook Pro, charge it and make sure your battery is not running out. So very, very cool. Let's get this over here. A little bit excited. Oh, this looks very cool from the start. Very futuristic. Let's pull this sucker out. Oh man, it's got some weight. All right, what do you guys think about this guy right here? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally really dig the design. I was wondering when I saw it online, is this exterior shell plastic? And no, it is not. This thing is solid aluminum and it's like a space gray color. Let's compare it to this MacBook Pro. It's a little bit more shiny, but it matches decently well. So if you're gonna have it next to your MacBook, it's gonna look good. And I like this handle <laughs> right here. Uh, this is solid. So this is made out of plastic right here, but it's built in really well. So this is gonna be the air intake here, kind of like on a Mac Pro, except it's not a cylinder. And this looks like an exhaust with a large fan right up top. Uh, one thing that is very cool and special about this unit um, is that the fan here is rated at only 18 decibels. And this is an issue that we've had in the past with external GPUs. The fans are always really loud. You typically have a loud fan on the enclosure itself. And then you have another fan or multiple fans on the graphics card. And that can definitely get annoying, especially when you're used to Apple products that are typically quite quiet. This guy's gonna be very, very quiet. Spin it around here so you guys can see. These are our ports right here. We have our power jack. We have a single HDMI 2.0, so that supports 4K at 60 Hertz. Two whole Thunderbolt 3 ports. Yes, I said it, two Thunderbolt 3 ports. I'll talk about that in a second here. And we have four uh, USB 3.0s. Now, what really gets me excited about this is these two ports right here. Most of the time, when you have an external graphics uh, enclosure, you plug it into your MacBook, and then you have to plug in an external display into it, but you only have the options that are available on your graphics card. That means you can only use HDMI or display port. So if you're in a situation like I am and you own a 5K LG Ultrafine Thunderbolt display or a 4K one or maybe a cinema display, you cannot use that with a Thunderbolt. So if you spent 1300 bucks on a beautiful 5K display, you are out of luck. And I even considered selling that display so I can use an external graphics card with my MacBook Pro. Now you don't have to. This guy is the first one to support that. Let's go ahead and pull out the accessories that they give us here. We have a power cable in here and we have a Thunderbolt 3 cable and man is this thing short. Wow, so this is about as far as you can get from your MacBook Pro, which shouldn't be too big of an issue, but if you wanted to hide this like under your desk or something like that, this guy is not gonna cut it, but you can buy another one that's uh, up to six feet long that will still support everything. So I'm gonna unwrap this power cable and get my 5K display. So I'm gonna plug in the power here and our Thunderbolt 3 cable. As soon as I plugged in the Thunderbolt 3 cable, I heard a little click internally, but it doesn't sound like this unit's powered on just yet. And I don't see any sort of power button hidden away, so it could just be automatic. So now let's plug this guy in. Okay, the laptop's charging, so we're getting power. And it's actually on. <laughs> it was that quiet that I couldn't hear it over the AC. So right away, I'm seeing a little icon that popped up here. I recognized it right away. And there we go, we have this running. We can close this and our monitor should stay on. I don't have a wireless keyboard or mouse connected here like I typically do on my regular desk, but we're running using the MacBook Pro with that new quad-core CPU that is extremely powerful. 
Now with an extremely powerful graphics card that's gonna do great for video editing and a beautiful 5K display. Now I'm really curious about how this guy's gonna perform and we're gonna be doing a variety of tests and benchmarks and everything else that you guys wanna know about. Uh, but I wanna see um, our performance with Geekbench 4, let's say. So here's our OpenCL results for the integrated graphics, almost 33,000 and right away the RX 580 shows up. So let's get, give it a run and see what we get. So there you go, guys. We have a score of 110,500 compared to just under 33,000. So a massive difference compared to the integrated graphics. The biggest question I have in my mind is, can I now skip my 15 inch, go downsize to a 13 inch, which is much more convenient for everyday use and travel and flying, all that stuff. And then when I'm doing some serious work, come into the office, plug it into this graphics card and get better performance or the same performance as I would have in dealing with a much larger, much more expensive MacBook Pro. Cause this is a base touch bar MacBook Pro. It's a lot cheaper than what I paid for mine. I think half the price actually. So there we have it, the Blackmagic external GPU with the RX 580 built in. The first eGPU that supports Thunderbolt 3 display. So everybody with a 5K display or a 4K or a cinema display can make use of an external graphics card and not be limited anymore. There are a few downsides with this unit. First off, the graphics card is built in and is not removable meaning it's not going to hold its value as well as other uh, units could where you can actually pull out a graphics card put in a new one so that is one limitation and the other limitation is there is no display port output on this guy we just have the thunderbolt and we also have hdmi 2.0 but I did order a Thunderbolt 3 to DisplayPort cable and we will be testing that out with this eGPU and seeing if all you guys that don't have an HDMI 2.0 port will be able to make use of this external graphics card enclosure. This has been Max. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you have those notifications enabled. Don't miss out on this video where we test out all the brand new features with the 2018 MacBook Pro and I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.